Effort is underway to help people who lost their homes in the Marshall Fire. A group on Facebook is making sure that families have meaningful Christmas ornaments this year. Jeff Todd shares us that even more donations should pour in this week. These are the hand-stitched ones. Boxes full started showing up in March, and now Carol Burton's living room is filled with handmade Christmas ornaments. I was just reconfiguring the numbers. Five, about 5,200. Ish. <laughs> the effort was organized through the Facebook group Operation Christmas Ornaments from Near and Far. Merry Christmas from West Palm Beach, Florida. Some of them very simple and sweet from children. Some of them very elaborate and very time consuming. They've come from all over the country and even Japan. The hope is to get a few hundred more of these and then distribute them out to families that lost everything so that they can decorate their tree this year. We found this and we thought it would be a really fun one to do with the girls and also a great way to serve in our community. Kaya Price was dropping off a few dozen ornaments she made with a church group in Broomfield. Just helped paint and had a good time. These ornaments have more meaning because each one was newly made, some of them requiring hours of work and some true pieces of art. They just love the people. I mean, when you hear of a disaster, your heart breaks for those people and you want to do something for them. And you normally you can't because you've, you know, you're so far away, but it's some small thing that they can do for them. Burton has spoken with many people who have lost their homes to tell them about the operation. Each time the response is the same. They get choked up, they get teared up, and then so do I. You know it's going to make an impact. Yeah. In Westminster, Jeff Todd covering Colorado First. So sweet. If you want to help out, we can connect you with this wonderful organization on our website, cbscolorado.com. Well,